Hello, hello. Welcome to the daily political tarot readings here on the political tarot live stream here on the black and orange channel. I'm known as Autumn around here and I'm here with my co-host who's snoozing my little uh, white, uh, white fuzzy pillow over here. who is my positive energy generator, Boo Boo Zen Kitty. Bailey Boo Boo Zen Kitty. But anyway, he's sleeping. Anyway, I'm so glad you're here. If you're watching this on replay, do come by sometime. Uh, people are really friendly, for which I'm eternally grateful. And we've got we've got the best moderators anywhere, seriously. So do come by, do do come visit, and just put uh, any of your political questions in the chat in in all caps. Uh, anything in, that's in all caps in the chat is how you communicate with me. Other than that, please just type normally when you're talking to others. That way I'll know, you know, when you're talking to me, when you're not. It really helps out a lot. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, also, right after this, I will go down to the first. Uh, when I'm done here, uh, I usually go get a cocoa. <laughs> and then I um, I need I need some cocoa after this. But then I go in and I type in all the questions from today. Uh, do, I do 12 of 12. So uh, every day, seven days a week, 12 political uh, questions at 12 o'clock noon. And I type them all in and I timestamp them and uh, make, go in and I make them just as perfect down to the second as I possibly can because I apparently, what, don't have enough to do? I don't know. I, but I want it to be as good as possible for you. So I do that. 10% of all income that comes into the channel goes to feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. And that is an ongoing thing. From when the uh, channel was started or first monetized uh, for now. And then I am busy making plans for 2021. Uh, yeah, I spent the morning coming out with a, uh, coming up with a publication schedule from my books in 2021. Oh dear. Okay. But that's, that's a that's a crisis freak out for another day. Anyway, I hope you're well. All right, I'm going to go into the chat. I'm going to go all the way up to the top. I've got uh, room for anything in all caps. I have everything written down here. I'm going to I'll jot down the twelve questions for today. It's kind of first come first serve. Uh, but if I don't read your question, if I don't answer it, um, it is never anything personal. If I don't acknowledge you, it's never anything personal. I would feel terrible if I had hurt your feelings. So I uh, just wanted to say that. And, um, oh, and sometimes YouTube will cut earlier questions off. So if I miss your question, uh, please post it again, but just put a YT right in front and then I'll know that YouTube cut it off. Okay, so let's get going. Let's get going here. Uh, Jennifer was guessing red for the nail color today. Well, Today's nail color is a little odd. There's a little running joke around here. It's guessing what color my nails are going to be today. But today is unusual because they're gold swirls. Oops, sorry. They're gold swirls. Kind of hard to see, but they're very, it's, it's very unusual. Yeah, that's a little easier to see. Yeah, so, I, but uh, yeah, so gold swirls today. Nobody would have guessed gold swirls. Nobody. So we'll pretend they're red, Jennifer. You win. Mr. Oh, oh Mari, happy Tuesday. And uh, Autumn, good day to everyone. Excellent. Mr. Biggs, all oh, with the puppy in your avatar. Hello, Mr. Biggs. Hi, Autumn. Why is Jim Jordan always so angry? Will he face consequences for his loyalty to Trump? Oh, Jimmy Jim Jordan. Uh, yeah, okay. You're getting, I'm putting you in, I'm putting you in the second slot because I have something I want to read on that I did not mention. I forgot to mention, but you're go. I'm, I'm putting you Jimmy Jim Jordan. Uh, I was actually surprised with the, um, 
was it the Republican National Convention where he was on camera? Um, because of course I get, I'm kind of forced to occasionally see bits of Fox News. And it came up that, um, I mean, he was just sitting there in front of a camera, just like this. And he was just talking like a normal human being. Actually a nice person. And it was like, who are you? <laughs> it was very strange. Um, like the Joker, why so serious? Why so angry? Uh, is he gonna face consequences? It was, it was certainly bizarre. It's like, who are you? Okay, the question that I wanted to, to ask today, uh, why did Bill Barr hide the investigation into Hunter Biden before the election? Now, if we were dealing with decent people, with decent it would the answer would be obvious you're not supposed to do that but this is bill barr we're talking about i mean like i must be you know i must help the master kind of thing just that mentality why did barr hide the Hunter Biden investigation. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's go down here. Do, do, what, what, what? Cardamancy. Hey, Cardamancy. To post a comment, go to Marie's latest video. Scroll down. Oh, isn't her? Oh, absolutely. Sending prayers to uh, Marie and her husband. Doesn't sound very good at the moment. But anyway, all right, I'm looking for anything in all caps. Tinker Mouse, hey, Bethany, how you doing? Hi, sweetest almond, would you read on these so-called alternate electoral votes? Okay, that made me very upset. Very, I guess, but I will wait until the we get to that to tell you what particularly upset me. Um, read on so-called alternate electoral votes. Got it. You got the number three slot. Okay, moving down, moving down, looking for anything in all caps. Okay, Renee, hi, Autumn. Will Trump try to declare martial law? I've never, I've never picked up on that. I've read on it multiple, multiple times. I've never picked up on it, but <sighs> will Trump do something to, how would I, how would I word this force? Um, himself to stay in office. Something like that. Does that sound, does that sound good? Hello, Twana. This, Cecilia, finally caught your live stream. Excellent. Um, hello, Jeff, love Jalou. Okay, and... There's a question from Cindy. I was trying to see if I close to the end I could get, and I could see if that's okay. Um, Trump, do something to try to force himself to stay in office. I know there's a better way to phrase that, but I can't think of it. All right, let's look at that. 
can't believe I, I can't believe we have to read on these things. Actually, this needs to come down just a tiny bit. I wish it was brighter too, but it is what it is. You can't even tell. This thing's purple. You can't even tell. The whole thing, the whole, I've got this whole purple thing going, but it's so dark. You can't tell. Anyway. Uh, okay. Um, will more elected Republicans be leaving the party? Um, okay. Will more elected Republicans leave the party? Oh boy, what a mess. What a mess this man is. Susan, hi, I'm love your, oh, love the border. Oh, thank you. Uh, Patty, what was the purpose of Barr resigning? Um, well, he was fired. He was, he was fired as soon as, okay, I, it just jumped. I'm not even sure where, where I am. Um, oh, Rachel, there's nothing there against Hunter. And that would stop them. Why? For making accusations from trying to muck up the works. Anyway, I know. Yeah, we know. We know. Um, thing got, things got cut off. If you, That question I was just talking about, if you wouldn't mind posting it again, I'd be very grateful. If there was one, because it will more elected Republicans leave the party. I'm, I'm, I've just confused myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's, there's, there's a lot. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Carl, will real help be available for America after Biden takes over? Yes. Yeah, I've been picking up. That's when we will finally start getting stimulus. That's when we'll. Um, I I've been for for months and months and months. I've been picking up like. 1930s style, WPA programs, work program. Yeah, the 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 the, the Depression era kind of work programs and arts programs or or whatever, can be done to. Help. Um, but I'll, I'll, let's have a look. We'll real help available after Biden takes over. Okay, got it. All right. Number that is number six. All right, looking, looking, looking. Methany. Take a rest. Got a little panicked until I realized, remembered it doesn't make sense. I, uh, I feel so bad. I don't, I don't remember <laughs> the specifics. I, my brain's gone through six different subjects. So I know that we were talking earlier about something, but I can't hold it in my head and shuffle through all of it. Sorry. Uh, Gail, any stimulus before January? I have not picked up on that, but we should look again. Oh, man. We should look, but I have not picked up on that happening. McConnell is a monster. Bethany, I'm sorry, put it twice. Stop me question. Good. Got YouTubed. I like that. CC, hey, question. Why does CNN give GOP gaslighter Rick Santorum a platform to deceive America? Is it a shady agreement? CNN? Uh, Rick Santorum. Gaslighter. Shady agreement. Got it. 
in the number eight slot. There we go. Thank you, Cece. And anything else? What's next? What's next? There's Nancy. Hey, Jeffrey Rosen. Rosen? Now Deputy AG will replace Barr as AG. Any sense about him or the situation ahead? Oh. Uh, wasn't... So... The Rosenstein monster was... His job was taken over by Rosen? Rosenstein? Rosen? Interesting. Um, April 2nd. That's um, Aries, isn't it? Hmm. Jeffrey... Rosen. Sorry about the phone. It's not mine. Um, Deputy AG takes over for bar. Over from bar. Got it. All right. Got the number nine slot. Renee, it sounds something sounds good. Good, good. And Kathy Anderson, hello. What is Trump's next move? Well, no, for number four, I have Trump. Will Trump do something that will mean that he's forced to stay in office? Will he try to come up with something like that? So would that do? Would that do? For for the question? Or was there something, something um, else you... Um, had in mind. Please let me know. John, why is MSNBC so anti-Bernie? Okay, why is MSNBC so anti-Bernie? Okay. Okay, and Roxy. Autumn, what is that nut Stephen Miller up to? Um, okay. What is Stephen Miller doing when he's not f feathering his attic? Um, where he and his family hang upside down from the rafters what is Stephen Miller up to and uh Rosetta hey does Candace Owens believe in what she says uh, uh, hang on uh American conservative author commentator political activist are initially critical of President Donald Trump. She has become known, she's 31, she has become known for increasingly pro-Trump activism. I have never heard of this woman, I'll be honest. Candace. Owens. Believe in what she's saying. I'm sending. I send my energy out in the general direction of of the question, like the subject of the question, as I am writing it down and what have you. Feels like it, but we'll have a look. Okay, I've got twelve questions. I'm so sorry if I've missed your question. Um, Want to be glad you don't know her. Oh dear. Okay. Well, anyway, so let's go down our list of deplorables, shall we? Because they actually are deplorable. Uh, R. Jim Jordan, Candace Owens, Rick Santorum, Trump. Stephen Miller, 
This is what we're reading on today. Um, I'm feeling like we should use the regular Rider weight. And I just need a drink here for a second. And we'll start with why did why did Barr actually hide the Hunter Biden investigation like he's actually supposed to? Before the election. Because that's just weird. It, it's it's we're so used to the corruption. Oh, yeah, Jane reading on all the best people. Yeah, exactly. Boy, this deck is new. Really broken in the other one. Oh, this is stiff. This is terrible people to read on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow. All right. We're at 22, and that's where we're starting. <clears throat> Why did Barr actually do the right thing? Stacy, look at the bright side. No one asked, oh, about the ghoul. Thank you for not asking about the ghoul. I can only read on her every once in a while. I just, I can't take it. <laughs> Roxy, protect Autumn as she reads on these low lives. That's it's kind of my job here now, isn't it? I mean, I show up every day. Oh man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Rachel, you um, Autumn, you're gonna have to burn loads of sage after this. Oh yeah. All right. All right, Barr, why did you do the right thing? Very strange. How odd of you. Why did Barr, why did you hide the, or keep the Hunter Biden investigation out of view and apparently not tell Trump? Part of keeping it out of view because he would have been all over that. Why, why did you hide that? You're not afraid of criticism. You've done worse for Trump. You guys are so sweet. Because Trump would have made it central to his... So? <laughs> would have made it central. Trump would have talked about it all the time. He would have made it central to his message. So? When has any of that ever stopped you before? Kept it quiet. How ill is his daughter? He never got the illness, did he? Alexander, he kept it quiet because there's nothing there. I, I just, I, I, I think that gives him too much credit. I mean, th them, they, they haven't had anything before. They made up a thing about um, or they just accepted a Russian propaganda that the Hunter Biden computer had been found, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, but they make stuff up all the time. No, he didn't catch it. She has cancer. Because this is, this is fear. This is fear of death this is this is the words i can remember brushing up against death and 
and deciding maybe maybe deciding there was a limit i don't know it's so hard for me to wrap my head around his sudden change but there's something about this brushing up against death that no matter how many times trump was goes after him that caused temperance. So has he grown a conscience? Daughter's cancer's come back. It's so sad. Has Bill Renfield Bar actually grown a conscience after all these years? This is this is weird. <laughs> Maybe his his own mortality too, John. Yeah, I I, I feel that. I sent to what trying at last at the last minute to clean up his karma. Oh, Ian, this will be the last Christmas his daughter will see. Oh gosh, I hope not. He has had a waxy look himself in the past few years. Katie's thinking maybe he's been having some troubles too. That's that's a change of decision. It feels very firm too. Very firm change of decision. I I have despised Barr with a passion. I am having trouble with this. Oh, he's still Republican. That hasn't changed. But he got away from conservatism. And it's like he reclaimed temperance. Well, not he wasn't temperate before. He was part of all those pardons back in the day. Pretty corrupt pardons back in the day. Or claiming, maybe he'd probably say reclaiming, but let's just say claiming temperance that he had, because he had gone so far. And even though he knew it would mean Trump would fire him. Trump would suspend him. Trump would lose, but Trump would get rid of him. But he, instead of giving hope to Trump when there wasn't any, like when the Mueller report came out and all this other, all these other times Barr has stepped in to protect Trump, even though Trump's not conservative. It's like he would try to reclaim it's not even reclaim its temper and go back to more go or go i can't know what keeps saying back because it's not it's, it's going to a centrist maybe he's thinking going back to a centrist more temperate and he knew the writing was on the wall because he he was going to be more temperate okay i i i believe People can do things where they deserve to be forgiven. That is, that is, I think that is quite possible. Um, it's, it is in the realm of possibility. But uh, William Barr, okay, William Barr has found. Religion, temperance. What? What? What is this? Is this more just temperance in general? Is this a religious um, resurgence, or what? What nature of this? He saw just clarity. Uh, 
Dama, yeah, but the bar thing's too sudden. Cindy saying bar was a good AG for Bush. He changed. Was 45's AG. All right. Well, it's his own. He okay. So he wasn't like he. Okay, I didn't get any sense he was being blackmailed. But this is telling me that it was his choice. Okay. Burden coming to light. But he hid. He hid the Hunter Biden thing before Biden won. Um, I'm getting a mental image because, of course, when you're getting the mental images, they, they use whatever you've got in your head. So this is, talk about random. You're not going to run across a much more random way to describe this as that, is this one. I saw something, a video, where there was a, a vacationer who was down in the Caribbean or something. And she would go snorkeling. And she ran across this little octopus who lived in, actually, it was not a, a completely undefensible area. You could really just see in every direction. And she really liked the little guy, so she started bringing him food and things. But the thing is, is every time he got food, all these other fish would descend and try and steal it from him and nip at him and it just make his life miserable. And she realized he was fairly intelligent because she even like gave him food like in a jar with a lid and he undid the lid and climbed inside and got the food and came out. It was very impressive. But she, I remember her, she brought him food once and um, immediately, of course, it all it descended. He was just so fed up. He would just gotten this lovely piece of fish or food or whatever it is that they, they eat. And um, he, so he just moved away from his own home and he just threw it. He just threw the food away, like take it. And then the fish all kind of went after it so he could go home hungry, but then leave him alone. And then she went back and he wasn't there anymore. It's like, this is, this is a sad story. However, that's what this feels like. The burden that, that, that Barr has been carrying this whole time. It's just like, he could see the writing on the wall. He's had this going in, his daughter is, it's, it's things coming to light. And he's just, he's just said, you know, just pick up the burden and just go there. I'm done. Susan, did Barb a Christmas Carol moment? Oh, maybe he was visited by the spirit of Roy Cohn. That's who, that's who Trump's uh, Marley would be. Uh, no, no ghosts, um, but lots of insults. Lots of abuse and insults from Trump. Okay, 3430. Jimmy Jim Jordan. Why are you so angry? Are Jordan's Jimmy Jim shorts too tight? Renee, cocaine Mitch is trending on Twitter. I can't. What? Why? Oh, William is saying Jim Jordan's from where I live. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? Why is why is cocaine Mitch trending? Please. All right, Jimmy Jim Jordan. Thirty-five. 
there's some pain coming for him. Jim Jordan, why are you so angry and are you going to face consequences? All right, first three cards. Why are you so angry? Aaron Sun, I, I agree with you there. Why are you so angry? <laughs> because he's a bully. I mean, that was just like answered fink because he's a bully. I could hurl these with him sitting there. Wrestling trophies. Kids. The accusations. Plus, he, he's been rewarded for most of his adult life for being a bully. And there are far too many, not all, not all, but there are far too many gym teachers who are... I, I never had a good one. Never. I changed schools almost every year growing up. I was never at a school more than two years. Oh, wait. I think I was at one for two and a half. That was, that was it. Never had a good one. They were all mean. Every last one of them. That's a shame. But that was his job. He wants to run for governor of Ohio. Oh, all right, Jimmy Jim Jordan. Are you, uh, what are the consequences going to be of you being such a Trump sycophant? Jimmy Jim Jordan. I see what you've put, Linda, there, and that's interesting, but I, I don't want to get too sidetracked. Jimmy Jim Jordan. This is this is my election day card. Don't know which election day, but that's my election day card. Okay, are you going to face consequences? Those poor kids. Yeah, there he is trying to knock over, trying to kick over as many Republican, sorry, try to kick over as many Democratic ideas and people as he can, but he just can't get them all. These are very, other than this, this sun card, which is not him, this is the theft, theft, thievery, wrongdoing coming to light. His wrongdoing coming to light. Other than this, these are all very small cards. They feel, the energy feels very small, very human, very diminished. Yeah, trying to kick over what the Democrats do. Deci the card of decision and the card of what you've done will come back to you. So I don't know when he's up for, um, I don't know when he's up for re-election. Jim Jordan. Are you just going to go on and become the governor of Ohio? Man. Susan, I will leave Ohio if Jordan becomes governor. <laughs> Uh, I lived in Parkersburg, West Virginia, a couple of times, and I like I like Ohio. <laughs> My first boyfriend was from across the river, Marietta.
his he just got reelected yeah i was gonna say okay thank you for that it, it feels like he has plenty of people who um he has plenty of people who support him and face consequences for being a sycophant He's, he's going to be marginalized with the other Republicans. That's all I'm getting. So, Jimmy Jim Jordan, are you ever going to be governor? Governor Jim Jordan of Ohio. Oh, boy. So are you going to be governor? My back is starting to hurt. Just I don't know if it's just this energy or the way I'm sitting or something. Uh, I, I think that's people of Ohio saying, oh, heck no. But let's see. I don't know who the... Um, governor of Ohio is right now, but I'm getting so many Democratic cards here. So many, 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 like, I don't know when the governor, uh, the next election for the governor is, but I've got Democrats. Democrat, Democrat, temperance holding the bet with the Democrat. So, no, he's just going to sit there and be a total pain. So, kind of normal. All right, 42.30. Read on the so-called alternate electoral votes. Okay, this, I got very upset. I got very upset. There's a video out there where, and I want to say it's Michigan, might be somewhere else. But one of the states yesterday, there were a group of people who descended on the state capitol building and there was a policeman or a security guard or whomever who was standing in the doorway blocking them from coming in. And they started saying, you have to let us in. And he's like, no, this, it's closed. And oh, it wasn't Michigan. It's closed. Uh, you know, you can't come in and, you know, the only people here are the electorates. And then the, these people outside started saying, we are the electors. And one of them said something like, we're the Republican electors. Or something like that. But they were saying, we are, the, we are the electors. Oh yeah. And then everybody was agreeing in the group. Yeah. Yeah. We're the, we're the electors. And the guy just said, there are 16 electors and they've already signed in. You're going to have to leave. Isn't there a law against trying to impersonate an elector interfere with the lawful elect? Isn't that, isn't that illegal? Okay, so. So the so-called alternate electors, electoral votes, what have you, does it come to anything? But that was, that was so wrong. What, what, what? Marsha, I saw that autumn and got so, I guess you mean mad? A group got together, falsified an electoral vote and sent it to Washington before the real one was taken. <laughs> Cease and desist. Oh yeah, we're the electors. Those celebrating Democrats, oh no, oh no. 
there, there um, we still need a better term for the Karens. That's what this is. M men and women. And it would have, um, it, I'm, well, I, it's ending with the, the justice card. So like there, there may be some repercussions. This, this card of work, what went through my head was if it had worked, they would have been in even bigger trouble. But they should be held. Yeah, this is, they believe they have the right to do this. It's a, the Karens and Kevins, Calibri Flyer saying, yes. We, we need a better term for it, but that's that's the entitlement, the bullying, the entitlement, the um, the lying to your face. So are any of these alternate electors going to face justice? Are they going to be arrested, convicted, fined, something, something. Man. Oh yeah, the, the weeds of crime bearing bitter fruit, that's just rancid. I mean, it's just getting like old lettuce in the bottom of the fridge. Gross. Oh, and there's Trump falling out of the deck. Along, yeah, and those two cards fell. All right, three cards here. Are they going to face justice? Nope, not really. Hello, Becca. I'm reading on one of the saddest and most disgusting things with the... Uh, alternate electors, alternate electoral votes. And apparently, yeah, they do have to be chosen ahead of time. Um, but I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not getting, it didn't go far enough for there to be kind of widespread justice for these people, which there should be. Hello, Rachel. Um, So what was that justice card earlier? Is that just if it continued or, I mean, are these? Yeah, they're following this idiot. The fish rotting from the head. I'm getting a lot of rotting images. Oh, Trump, the, oh, that money train's about to end when uh, laws are going to be put back into place and enforced. So it, it may just depend on where they are. I think the one that made it to Washington, D.C. will have issues, says Marsha. I think that's, yeah. Yep. And I've got world temperance because of the victory. It's over. It's over, people. That, to me, I'm sorry, that's un-American. That's wrong. Anyway, speaking of un-American and wrong, Trump, 50. Now, this is the real kicker. <sighs> okay. And I don't know how to, I don't know how to phrase this better, so... Don't try to diagram this sentence. Will Trump do something between now and Inauguration Day that will somehow force, force him to have to stay in office? Hello, Sharon in Canada. Will Trump do something 
to to force himself to have to stay in office. Not that it seems it's I, I, Dave. You're saying not possible. I. But will he try? Will he cook up something? Will he make? a huge mess will he i i don't i can't i'm serious i write i write novels i cannot create villains that are as bad as these guys i can't i can't i can't wrap my head around the the villainy they come up with i'm just like wow i feel sometimes it's like as a writer i'm like i'm like dexter although i've, I've never killed anybody of course but I, i'm just saying it's like you walk into a crime scene and you're just like, wow, that's that's really villainous. Oh, that's really villainous. Yeah. Like I can appreciate the villainy because I create villains, but I'm not actually one. But they stunt, they seriously, they come up with stuff. I'm just like, wow. That that was not anybody's 2020 bingo card. That that wow. Didn't even think of that one. All right. So is Trump going to cook up, create, make a mess, do something when he should be packing? Because he's leaving. Because all of these swords are votes. Swords are are air signs like Gemini. It's a communication. The votes are are telling you get out get out goodbye farewell of a scene i know i just mispronounced that au revoir <laughs> well it's not going to work because there's biden and there's in the sun and that's Trump on the defensive in the middle. And this is America. We're just waiting. And he's looking at the horizon. He's like, somebody's going to come up with something. Um, Roxy Bull, what I'm working on right now are actually uh, some murder mysteries. With fantasy elements. Fantastic elements, I should say. But anyway, uh, this is Trump looking at the horizon. Um, somebody's going to think of something. Somebody think of something. Somebody think of something. Somebody think of something. He's just on the defensive and boom, it's too late. It's the inauguration. And so good. We don't have to worry as much about that. Thank you, Roxy. Okay. Of uh, 53, 30. Will more elected Republicans leave the party. Will more elected Republicans leave the party? I would imagine that the, the main exodus was before, but because now there's a possibility, at least, of the Republican Party being able to revert to form. Oh, kitty stretch. Oh, that was a big kitty stretch. Will more Republicans Somebody downstairs is laughing. I love that. Um is Okay, will more elect Okay, that's institutions, okay? the people in, in in government okay republicans in government okay this is where i point out that um i'm i'm i as i've said repeatedly i'm here every day of the week i i i don't do personal readings i just read on politics right occasionally i'll throw some other stuff in i still i still have multiple requests to do more stuff on Chris Evans <laughs> and Henry Cavill. Those seem to be the two big ones, but I do politics. And when you're, when you're a reader, the reason there are not 
the reason that 99.999% of readers are democratic is because when you, if, if you're not just like a computer, just, just pulling random cards and going, this is what that means. If you're actually, you're taking your energy and you are sending it into the energy of the person you're reading on. So I do that on politicians a lot, daily. Take care, Disrat. Um, a lot of politicians, they're, they run for office when the, it's easy pickings. If it's in an area and um, where it's heavily Republican already, where it's, eh, let's just try this or, or what have you. It's, um, and then there's also an ambition. Uh, and in some of, in far too many of them, there's also just a bullying, I'm better than everybody else aspect, which is really frustrating. But the closer they are to, it, no, I should say, Okay, will more elected Republicans leave the party is the question, and that is no, because it's the end of the Trump era to them, they hope. And there are still those Republican uh, areas, strongholds, are still out there. Easy money. Easy money, easy power, easy having people kowtowing to them, having nice places to live, the public prestige, looking for an easy buck, it says travels, yeah. Yeah. All right, 58. Will, will, we, will Americans get real help after Biden takes over? Americans get real help after Biden takes over. Americans get real help after Biden takes over. Scorpios are no Pisces. Um, will Americans get real help after Biden takes over? Hope. Matter of fact, earlier when I was sitting here shuffling, I, I was just making sure that I was holding the deck correctly. And I looked and that was the card I was seeing in the bottom of the deck. And I thought, well, it, it, you know, I don't know if that's related to this reading. So I'll, I'll wait. I won't just say hope. And then it's a card for the reading. <laughs> hope. The air clearing, the sort of truth showing up. There are going to be so many... As hard as this, this time that's coming is going to be, and there are people who should get, should face consequences who just aren't going to face consequences. Some will, but not all who should. And all this stuff we're going into and the reality of all the damage done and all in all this negativity, in the background, there is going to be this wonderful um sense of relaxation of being able to let your guard down some and it's hope and the sort of truth and people using science and the most competent people getting jobs Oh, will there be hope? Um, well, this is a card for the reading. This is the center card. This is some help. 
it's also Republicans being knocked off kilter, but but people are really hurting, but at least they're gonna be dealing with the truth. And this is, this is a, also a card for the vaccine. And it's the strength, so things coming back, but there's, there's also a lot of confusion there and um, lo the lies, the, the, the way things were done, the, the, it's going to be disheartening. Um, and it's going to take more time to, to really start sorting stuff out. I mean, when, when, when Biden gets into office, he has all these plans for his first hundred days. And I think there are going to be very basic things this is what I'm picking up, is there are going to be very basic things that he's taking for granted that are in place that would allow him to do everything he wants. He's, they're going to be, you know, I've mentioned it before, but there, there were even jokes even under Rex Tillerson that, you know, you had to be careful over at the uh, State Department because, you know, you'd have to, you know, get past the tumbleweeds to uh, get in. And I think the onion had a, something about um, homeless people moving in because there was just so much space. They just gutted these. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna be easy. And um, prosecutor, okay. It's going to take more time than we want it to. It's coming. The partnership, the health, the health, the, the, um, and until then, yes, this, this would be stimulus. This would be, but there's this disappointment and, and Republicans right in the middle. And this is my Mar-a-Lago card. So Trump going there or whatever the equivalent is. We, we are going to get help. We're going to get a lot of help, but it's going to take time. And there, because of that, there are going to be a lot of people suffering between here and there. One, oh, three. Any stimulus by January, I'd be floored if this is a yes, but let's look. Any stimulus by January. Any stimulus by January. Thalma, what can we do to help now? What can we, Autumn, do to help now? Um, I 10% of my income goes to feedingamerica.org. That's just, um, I, you know, I still have bills to pay or I'd give more but I, I at least tithe. And uh, anyone who is not, was not brought up in, uh, as a Christian, uh, tithe is giving 10%. It was traditionally given 10% of your income was given to the church, but it's a convenient word to use for giving 10% of your um, income to charity. So it's just an ongoing thing in good times and bad. Um, that can help if you can, if you're in a position, you can do more in, or you can do things in person or you can, you know, but praying, tithing and praying. Okay. So, um, Will there be any stimulus or stimulus agreement? You know, I'll, I'll tell you, if it's going to be like January 5th, that's fine too. <laughs> Will there be any stimulus in this administration? King of Swords. Lawyers? Lawyers, prosecutors, law enforcement. What is, why have I got a King of Swords? Can also be military. It doesn't feel like the military. What? 
Will we get, will there be any stimulus relief money check? It's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. Institution. Death. The dynasty. They're fine. Ha Merry Christmas to them. Meanwhile, for everybody else, pain. However, what's coming in future, and actually that, that would make sense here too, for card for the reading, what's coming in future is things changing. I wonder if there's any, I mean, I do believe that Trump should be held accountable for the fact that we have over 300,000 Americans who have died. 300,000 who did not have to. You'd think there'd be some kind of justice for that. Book bewitched. I think the baby horns are way too cute. Is that the these? Anyway, um, it's infuriating. It's infuriating. But there there will be consequences for them eventually. But in the near term, no, just Making people suffer. They're not horns. They're ornaments. Oh, are you saying it looks like I've got... Oh. All right, I have to move then. No, they're ornaments. I don't have... I don't do horns. Okay. 108. Rick Santorum and CNN, do they, um, do, do, does CNN, do they have some kind of shady deal? I don't know. I don't watch CNN because I think they already give too much airtime to, um, uh, they look like little deer antlers. All right. I'm, I'm over here now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Al. Thank you. Appreciate that. Rick Santorum. See, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't watch CNN because, um, that's it. <clears throat> um, where is it? There. What is this? Nope, that's even worse. There, I'm using that. And I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Oh. Anyway. Um, all right, 109.30. Um. Yeah, I think CNN gives too much airtime to these people in general. Uh, Calvin saying, Rick Santorum was my representative. He's a horrible, self-righteous, evil man. Nasty. All right, so what's going on with Rick Santorum and CNN and... Not much. There's not there's not much to pick up on. They're they're trying to give a balanced. See, the thing is, is that Fox Noise 
you know, basically corrupted the term fair and balanced. Oh, somebody's got some pain ahead of him. This is CNN trying to offer space. Thank you, Francis. Come for the reading, stay for the borders. Oh, thank you. Um, Rick Santorum, what, uh, is that you falling off that tower? Is that you? Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Sharon. You guys are so kind. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Rick Santorum. I assume he's retired or is he still in office? I've, I've lost track of what he's doing. It's just stirring the pot. CNN, CC Ryder is saying CNN gets many complaints on Twitter about Santorum. They can have Republicans like Anna Navarro, but not propaganda peddlers. Uh, he's well out of office. Thank the gods. Okay. Well. It, it feels like he's somehow going to be... Um, I feel like he's something's not gonna. He's it's kind of back to the drawing board. Um, there's there's something where he's either gonna fall out of favor. They're not gonna be calling him. They're gonna. This is this is being heartbroken. This is having to go back to the drawing board, and you'd think, oh, a hope card. This is great, but it, it's what he's taking on is a huge burden. Bye. Bye bye. We have four more questions. Jeffrey Rosen, Rosen, whatever. Stephen Miller, Candace Owens are three of them. But this is what we do here. <laughs> Uh, hang on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, one fourteen. Because you want to tell me, is it Rosen? 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 Because you get resin, R E S I N. So that would be, but I don't know. Part of the Heritage Foundation? Oh my gosh, is Jeffrey. Jeffrey? <laughs> is he. Um, please, let's skip at least one of them. Rosen. Oh, thank you, Mims. Rosen. Jeffrey Rosen. All right. You're taking over from Barr. Um, is, um, all right. Are you going to cause trouble? Are you going to cause trouble? Thank you, Roxy. He's he's actually more worried. He's like, oh, great. I get to deal with little bully Trump. Let 
people are begging me to skip Candace. Or not begging, asking me to skip Candace. Well, it's number 12. Anyway. Calvin saying, uh, Rosen sent Manafort to a better prison. Jeffrey Rosen, are you going to cause trouble? Uh, he's, he, he, he should have left too. <laughs> Victory's already happened. Biden administration's coming in. This is what's happening to all of the, the Trump, the people associated with Trump or, or what have you. And he may you know, go look for another job or what have you, but he ends up on the defensive and back. Um, for, for actions he did take, for actions he was a part of, he ends up in the hot seat. Hearings in future, things like I wouldn't. He, he, Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff, Jeffrey, you should go too. <laughs> just, just go now. You do not want that top slot. I know it'll look good on your resume, but it won't look good on your resume. Trust me. You're good. Go get, go get another job. When Barr leaves, go right out with him. I warned you. I warned you. But do they listen? No. Um, Paula Poundstone, I love her. I, I was, remember, uh, reminds me of her joke about um, her car keeps breaking down. She's standing on the side of the road. I buy you brake shoes. You won't wear them. <laughs> Rob, he's just a seat warmer for Yates. I like that. Mims, just, just go. I, I hear you, Susie. No matter how they feel about uh, Sniffy, they get, they do still his bidding. To still do his bidding, either out of loyalty or fear. Yep. Okay. Why is MSNBC so anti-Bernie? Was the question. Why is MSNBC so anti-Bernie? Okay, out in the cold. Um, basically because MSNBC comes under so much what it, what it feels like and what I know of MSNBC, but what it feels like MSNBC and NBC news are two different things. NBC news is, a, tries to be very, um, middle of the road. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you. Uh, they, they, NBC News is trying to just be the old-fashioned, you know, the news anchor who would come over on at 5.30 and all the news anchors on the major networks back in the day. They'd basically tell you the same stories, you know. Um, MSNBC is has gone left of that. But they're still linked to NBC News, which it and plus corporate interests. It, it's just they 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 don't want to go too far left. Uh, they feel that they get good ratings just attacking Trump, but not upsetting the. They 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 are afraid of going too far left. Um, but there's, there's, this doesn't feel, I don't know. Tomorrow we might have to look, actually look at Bernie. Well, thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, tomorrow we might have to look at Bernie. That, I, I didn't, that didn't feel good. 
that did not feel good. Okay, 1, 20, 30. What is Stephen Miller up to? <clears throat> oh, boy. <clears throat> filing his fangs. He's been busy filing his fangs. He's a, he's a daddy vampire bat now. Seriously, my third eye is just like, ugh. Miller, Miller. Well, he's a husband and a father now, where he will be soon. It's a lot of responsibility. Trump lost, and he has these, all these other responsibilities. Loves his new family. Okay. He had a baby girl. Bless her. Bless her. Sincerely, bless her. I don't mean that sarcastically at all. What is Stephen Miller doing? Breaking his mother's heart? Or uncles or grandfathers or it's about two months old. Oh, two month old baby. I bet she's adorable. Um, temperance. He's leaving. He's leaving the White House. He's temperance is finally coming back into the White House. Boy, has he got a reputation. Um, and he thinks it's going to lead to greatness elsewhere, but I, I don't, I, I, I get the feeling he's actually looking for another job. He's actually hoping Trump will hire him to, to pay him lots and lots of money to do, I don't know what. I mean, he, he's been there since the beginning, hasn't he? He's like one of, or the only person who's been there all the way through. But I mean, he, he, he lives there. He hangs from the rafters in the, the attic at night. Can't ask him to leave when it's his home. Yeah, he, he knows we're, we're, we're out the door. We're out the door. Oh, I sent to what? We see Jeff Sessions' assistant. Oh, oh he's been there from day one. Um, yeah, he's, he's, um, he's out of a job. And so he's trying to figure out what to do next. No, oh wait, no. But I'm also feeling like he's had some offers. He's trying to figure out which one to take perhaps. Um, but what's coming in future is a lot. And this is, uh, investigators, prosecutors, hearings, He's going to get, he's going to, a lot of this is, he's going to get, um, it's going to hit pretty close to him. If he's going to be called in for a lot of stuff. Mm. He's trying to figure out what to do next. I, and he's not, um, I don't think he's up to anything well, more nefarious than normal, you know? Hmm. <sighs> I won't make a joke about some of the things he's responsible for because if there's anyone in this administration who is the most like uh, one of the SS, it's him. One, 25, 30. 
Does Candace Owen believe what she's saying? I do not know this woman. I have not heard her speak. I just know who she is now because I looked it up. Does she? It feels like it. It feels like it. And it, it kind of feels like a, well, if the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome, maybe that's why she went so far to the right. But the energy is really nasty. I mean, big shock, but... Does Candace Owen believe what she's saying? And she's got Biden on her mind, for what it's worth, which isn't much. She wants to be in, she wants to be in a bigger league. I don't know what she's, um, I don't know what she does. I don't know if she's, is she rich? I don't know. Because it feels like she wants to be in the bigger league. In hearing, she likes to scream and pound her fist. Well, this is little bully Trump. She, she believes it. gonna happen to Candace Owen yeah there's some there's some ick around her too sorry Mims it was one of the 12 questions three cards it's gonna happen to Candace Owens Cece, she used to pack stadiums on her grievance tours. Really? She was supposedly done wrong by liberals, says John. Well, it feels like she's 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 made some money. She's, she's, the, the rise of the democratic powers is just going to make her crazy. And, you know, it's kind of the way, um, Ann Coulter, um, this keeps, you know, some people say she's written 12 books. In fact, it's, she's written 13. If you include Mein Kampf, that's. It just feels like she's just going to be back there. CC Ryder, she's a former Democrat commentator on Fox. KD, she likes to hear her own voice. Mims, lots of sage. <laughs> Thalma, no money? Oh, she has no money? She wants to be in with the big people. Breaking news, Mitch is speaking. Oh, joy. All right. But I want to leave on a slightly better note than that. Eek. Um, what is going to be the best thing that's going to happen during the Biden administration? Best thing during Biden administration. We're at 1.30. All right, Baker's Dozen today. What is... Oh, yeesh. Okay, what is going to be the best thing that is going to happen during the Biden administration? The best. 
children reunited. It's like, okay. Calvin, are you serious? Ann Coulter's boyfriend is J.J. Walker from Good Times. The guy used to say, Dino might. Really? Man. Okay, what's the best thing? Higher wisdom, science, possibly scientific breakthrough. The children. The best thing that it's happening, says Rob, yes. Um, it's going to be bringing nourishment, relief to families. It's still going to be hard. It's going to take us a long time to re fully recover. But it's going to be this, this bringing nourishment and to to the ha so to make happy families but also make happy families by reuniting families and then this is turning over Donald Trump's apple cart so that he becomes he faces real judgment for what he's done this is nice this is nice all right well, I will leave it there. But thank you so much for being here with me. And I'll be back tomorrow, here every day. All right, 12 more questions tomorrow, 12 at 12. Thank you. Thank you guys for everything. And thank you to our troll slayers. My gosh, you guys are amazing. Thank you. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Hang in there. Uh, questions are kind of first come, first serve. I usually get them early on. Um, but if uh, if I haven't covered your question, come back tomorrow, please. I'd be happy to read on it, okay? If I can. All right. See you tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody.